Now, we will try to solve exponential equation with quadratic exponents. Okay, let me write down the problem for you. So, let's consider 9 to the power of x square plus 1 equals to 27 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x to the power of x, right? So here we have, uh, you know, higher degree of x and the exponent, right? Now to solve this kind of a problem, we need to find the common base on two sides. Once we do that, then we can easily solve the problem. It seems that 3 could be a common base. So let's write uh, 9 in terms of 3, 27 also in terms of 3. So 9 could be written as 3 square, right? So we have 3 square and we already have here x square plus 1 as its power. So it gets multiplied, right? And this is 3 cubed. So this becomes 3 to the power of 3x, correct? Times, and this is 3, and x gets multiplied with x, and we get 3x square, correct? So that is what we get on the right-hand side. Now, now we can combine the terms, and we say 3 to the power of 2x square plus 2, equals to 3 to the power of so when you multiply with the same base you can add the exponents right so we get x square plus 3x here correct now we have same base and therefore we can equate our exponents they should be same correct so now we have 2x square plus 2 equals to x square plus 3x now we can bring them to the same side and solve. So we get 2x square minus x square minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. Correct? Now 3x square minus 2x is x square minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. Now can this be factored? Yeah, 2 times 1 is 3, yes, and so both could be taken as negative, right? So we could factor this as x minus 2 times x minus 1 equals to 0. So this leads to two possible solutions. The, the two possible solutions are x equals to 2 and x equals to 1. Okay? So we get two possible solutions for this equation. Now, we should always check whether both are right or not. Okay? Now, if I put 2 here, let's check with this. If I put 2 here, what do I get? I get 9 to the power of 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 1, 5, okay, 5, uh, and on the right hand side what do I get, if I put 2 there, so it becomes 27 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 2, 2 times 2 is 4, okay, right. Now. Well, I could have used this equation to check because we know this, right? So that is easier to check actually. Because I'll have to substitute 3 square here. Oh, let's do that. So 9 could be written as 3 square. So it becomes 3 to the power of 2 times 5 as 10. Is it okay? And 27 can be written as 3 cubed. So it is 3 times 3 times 2 times 3 to the power of 4, which is 6, right? So it on this side we have 3, 10, and on this side we have 6 plus 4, 10. So we get the same thing. So it works out, correct? So that is kind of a check. So 2 works for us, right? Now let's try 1. Try 1, we'll, we can, we'll use this equation, right? So 3 to the power of, we are checking this, we checked for x equals to 2. Now let's check for x equals to 1. So if I put 1 here, I get 1 square is 1, and 1 times 2 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, so I get 3 to the power of 4 on the left side. On the right side, I get, putting x as 1, so 1 square is 1, and 3 times 1 is 1, so 1 plus 3 is 4, so we get 3 to the power of 4. 
So both are correct solutions, right? So this is how we are going to solve a quadratic uh, exponents in our case, right? Now, let me give you one question, so which you can try on your own. Let's say the question is 2 to the power of x squared plus 4x. This is in the exponent is equal to 1 over 8. So try this and see if you can get the answer. Well, the hint is now you have to write this right hand side in the form of 2. So we, we can always write this as 2 to the power of minus 3, correct? Now this becomes a quadratic equation. x square plus 4x should be equals to 2 to the power of minus 3 because they have same base. So the idea here is to make the same base and if the bases are same then their exponents should be equal, correct? Therefore here we should solve for the equation x square plus 4x equals to minus 3. Is that okay? Bring it on one side. We say x square plus 4x plus 3 equals to 0. Factor, get your factors, right? 3 times 1 is 3, right? So we get x plus 3 times x plus 1 equals to 0. And then you need to check your answer. Will both the factors work for you? The solutions here are x equals to minus 3 and x equals to minus 1. If both work, write them as your answers. If not, then they don't work for you, right? Okay, so check both the answers. Minus 1, does it work? If I write minus 1 here and minus 1 here, do I get the same thing? So minus 1 here will give me what? Minus 1 squared is plus 1, right? And this will be minus 4. Minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. It works. Okay. Minus 3, minus 3 squared is 9. So this is plus 9. And minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. When you add them, you get minus 3. It also works. So both are the solutions, right? Anyway, the idea is to teach you a strategy which works when the exponents are quadratic or even higher. Okay base should be made same. That's the bottom line. Once you make the base same, you can equate the exponents and get your answer. I hope you understand. If not, write down your comments. I'll be glad to answer them. Thank you.